Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care. And I just went and picked this up from uh, FedEx Freight. I had to drive about 45 minutes to pick it up. But this is my Z Raider attachment. That's gonna go on my 52 inch Z3X. So essentially I'll be turning my 52 inch Z3X into an aerator for the uh, the fall and spring aeration season which will beat the heck out of what I was doing last year which was a uh, pull behind unit attached to a walk behind mower that I sat on it worked it got the job done but it was pretty rough on me and uh, this is going to be nice um, it's going to attach to the front of the mower, so these, uh, these brackets, I'll have to uh, figure out how I'm going to attach it, but that's basically, basically the way it attaches to the mower. It'll attach to the front forks on the mower, and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be uh, remote controlled, or a switch control, to raise and lower it, so it pivots right here as you can see so just picture the front of the mower attached to it um, and then the whole unit raises and lowers via this uh, electric jack and there's a large toggle switch right here and so when that's hooked up that's your up and down that's how you control the up and down so um, you can it's got enough down pressure to lift the front end of the mower all the way off the ground and then it's got enough travel to lift itself um, all the way up off the ground to go over driveways and sidewalks and things like that. So uh, my initial impression of it is, oh my gosh, this thing is built heavy. I had no idea. I mean, I knew it was coming freight and I assumed it was probably because of the size. But I mean, some of the metal that they use on this thing, guys, that's half inch steel plate, okay? And I mean this this piece right here is half inch steel plate the tube the square tubing It looks like most of it is quarter inch In fact, I think all of it is quarter inch wall square tube But most of the machine that's three-eighths square plate right there three-eighths steel plate the, uh, the actual aerator part of it um, That's all half inch steel plate Good heavy um, core plug tines. I mean, this thing is it is stout, guys. I mean, extremely stout. Um, they use trailer hubs, trailer axle hubs, as the uh, the caster pivot. So it's got the this one's got a, a dent in it, but it doesn't matter. That part is just basically to protect the grease dirt that's down in there, and uh, so you can grease those and. Uh, Basically, from what I uh, from what I understand, you know, they'll essentially last forever. It's almost impossible to wear them out. So, uh, man, this thing is built stout. Now I've watched some videos on these, and um, this is actually the first one that will be attached to a Z3X. Uh, they actually had to custom build the front end with the measurements that I gave them. Um, so that it'll attach to it because they they already had they already had these that attached to virtually every other mower, but they've never had one um, ordered for a Z3X yet. So so this is a one of a kind, uh, first time build. And when I have it attached, I'm going to send them pictures and everything so they can uh, modify if they need to uh, modify the design. So that the next person that orders one, it'll already be. You know, they'll already have a pattern for it. So, um, I just unloaded this thing out of the back of my truck on a pallet. It was strapped to a pallet. And uh, it was kind of a bear to get out by myself. I had to I put up a 2x12 on my tailgate and just kind of slid it down the 2x12 to the ground and then, and then unpackaged around it because uh, it's way too heavy for me to move without somebody helping me. That thing is, it's, it's a beast. So, uh, anyway, I'll have, to, I'll have to get it attached to my mower, 
and uh, get some video for you guys and, uh, and I'll, I'll go through the whole process process with you as far as mounting it on the mower um, you know running the wiring and all that kind of stuff but the uh, you know everything's supposed to be there it's basically just a, uh, a plug-and-play system I'll have to tie into a, a positive and negative um, either directly to the battery or somewhere in the system for the uh, the power on the on the jack but uh, other than that it's just mounting it to the mower and go so just wanted to show you guys straight off the straight off the pallet straight off the back of the truck kind of give you guys the first look at it before um, before I do anything to it so let me check this thing out can't wait to get this thing set up and actually use it stout as heck so all right, guys, that's it for now. Um, get out there and make some money, and we'll catch you on the next one.